Well, I understand that Donald Trump's middle name is John Donald J. Trump. So I've read. So that's why these uh, porta potties are so controversial and amusing, I might add. We need a little levity these days in our country. A smile was on my face when Trump won and it hasn't left yet. <laughs> you know, I think we need a change. I think he's gonna bring it and I think it's the best for the country. I am confident right now. I think he will talk about bringing this country together. I think Obama has split us so far apart that it's going to take a man like Trump to do it and his staff. I'm expecting change. You heard of all that hope and change eight years ago and the change happened. People just weren't thrilled with it. I'm hoping that this will be a renaissance that we will set everything in motion to, for the inner cities to begin growing, for hopefully employment in this country, everything to make us again the nation that I remembered in the 50s and 60s growing up. Well, I'm going to, volunt I'm volunteering tomorrow at the cabinet secretary's dinner. I'm doing that and uh, I will be doing that. I'll do the inauguration. Uh, I'll see, I might try to get some tickets to something else. Uh, I'm not going to any balls this time. My late husband and I went to balls before, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm here to do the volunteering and if they need me for something else, I'll do that. I was not a supporter of the president-elect and a lot of the different things that he stood for. I'm looking for some unity, some solidarity, and for folks that are looking to take this moment for the opportunity that we all have to make this nation a better place uh, for all people, make it more inclusive, make it more compassionate. And I think that the Women's March might do that a little bit more than maybe the incoming administration's message.